<laughs> nice job immediately moving the thing out of the recording window. Hello everyone, this is Shag. I am here today to test a microphone which I borrowed from a friend. Who also, incidentally, is one of the people who showed up in my Oregon Trail 2 videos, and further incidentally, we have created a podcast out of nowhere. You will find the link in the description, warning, may contain ponies. Anyway, we're going to test this microphone, and the old classic record sound from speakers bl that is blaring out of the speakers through the microphone setup. So we're just going to have a little bit of fun with uh, Super Mario Bros. 2. Ah, Super Mario Bros. 2. Something looks a little different here, but I can't put my finger on it. Anyway, time to select our character. I even wrote a song about this character select screen, but apparently I don't feel like singing it for you right now. I always feel particularly safe picking Peach because of her floating hacks. Mario is my other character that I like to play as. I don't know why, it just feels good to me to play as Mario, I guess. As we all know, this wasn't originally a Mario game. Doki Doki Panic, it was called previously. Excuse my poor aim. I don't know if I have that much to say about this, other than this is a microphone test. Hello! And such stuff as that. Actually, I guess I can talk about random stuff that's semi-related. I used to read a comic on the internet somewhere that was basically... Well, I know it used a lot of Mario Bros. 2 stuff, but it was basically a sprite comic that was totally nonsense. And one of these bird guys down here, whatever their name was, I've forgotten, was one of the main characters, and he was a doctor, and he used an ice pick as a weapon. And uh, the other guy was the suplex dude from the Kirby series. I think it was NC Comics. If anyone else has actually read that, I am surprised. And hello. So... Hello, trivial section. You are trivial because Peach. Ha 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 ha. I don't think I've ever actually beaten Mario Bros. 2 because it gets pretty bonkers at later levels. Bomb. Ha ha ha. But it is pretty fun. I don't know why I like it so much. Even though it's not a proper Mario game. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Killing stuff. But hey. It's fun. That's all that matters. I wonder why they've never tried to do another thing that functions basically like this game. Like, New Super Mario Bros. 2, I guess you could call it. Or, New Doki Doki Panic. Or, Doki Doki Double Panic. Or, I don't know. I'm sure they can come up with something. Aw, oh, man. Come on! I gotta time this right. Excellent. Better than I even needed to. Extra bomb! So I enjoy this game, and here we have the first boss, who I skipped an annoying vine climbing segment to get to. Ah, uh, it's Birdo. Everyone knows about Birdo. Birdo and... Birdo, yes. Everyone in the comments debate over Birdo's real gender. Ha ha, no please don't actually. What? I was totally on top of that egg. Regardless of whether or not Birdo is male or female, I'm pretty sure it's canonically female by this point. We can all agree that Birdo has a fabulous sense of style. And a nice mustache. I swear I usually play better than this. But, hey. Who cares? Aha! I have won! How many points do I receive? Now it's time for the slot machine. Aww. Yay! The fun has been doubled! I find the best strategy on the slot machine is just to mash the button as quickly as possible. And you'll usually get one-ups. I don't know why. Okay, time for carpets. And nearly jumping off the edge immediately. Like the brilliant person that I am! <laughs> brilliant! Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. This is a game that was not meant to be controlled with an analog stick on a gamepad which has a defunct... Uh, right D-pad button? That much is for sure. 
Hmm, I always thought those guys were a little bit of a troll, but hey. Whoa there! Anything in here? More health for me! And lottery machine ticket coins! Huzzah! And a free 1-up, because why not? One thing I always liked about the NES version of this is that these pots are basically Atari graphics. It's like, did they just run out of tile space, or did they not want to try that hard, or do they like the Atari that much? It's a good question. Fanto's looking kind of an unrecognizable shape there. I don't know what's the deal. Ah! <laughs> Fanto! I hate Fanto, I hate Fanto, I hate Fanto. Why am I not dropping the key to avoid Fanto hate? Yo. Wah! Whew. That almost went in a bad place. Throw! Double ninja kill. Awesome. Now, quickly, into the door. Huzzah. I wonder why collecting enough cherries gives you a star. I guess it's not really that important to care, but I'm throwing that guy off a pit anyway, so deal with it. Oh, uh. <laughs> this part of the game is the completely not important puzzle to get an extra bit of health that you probably don't need. Also, snippets are annoying part of the game. Speaking of Sniffets, why isn't Sturm, like, in later Advanced Wars games, even though he died, at least as a bonus? Come on! <laughs> Come on, guys. Sturm is amazing. I can totally grab stars, you guys! Oh my. That was the most pathetic display I have ever pathetically displayed in my life. So let's just keep going and pretend it never happened. I think we're doing a pretty good job of that so far, if I'd shut up about it. Seriously, I know they reused some of the concepts from this in later Mario games, most notably the enemy types, or at least Shy Guys and Ninjis, but how come they didn't ever, like, you know, make a true sequel to this? I know it's just a dream and all, but... Hey, Kirby lives in Dreamland, why can't Mario take a visit on occasion? Why don't they bring back Wart? A villain with a weakness to vegetables is always entertaining. Wart's weakness also makes it really easy to make a version of this game starring myself and my cohorts. Because Pink hates vegetables a lot. Get on that, someone! Actually, don't, because if you do, what you're probably going to be doing is going to Pink's forums and posting a topic about how you want everyone to help you work on a game that will never get completed. Ah, uh, my strategy did not work. Ah, uh, it did not work again. Those sniffets are eyeing that star too hard. World 1-3. You know, I should probably just totally LP this or something. Considering I've already been playing through the first world, and that's totally enough of the game to warrant wasting more of my time on it. Because this game has, like, what? How many worlds does it have? Eight? Six? Seven? One of those three numbers. I can I can guarantee you at least that. And I know you can warp straight from like this one to the to like the last one. I wanna say seven is correct. You can warp straight to this one to the last one by Oh where is that? There it is. By doing the by not screaming in pain. But also by doing this. Hey. Ah, wait, no, that's not the last one at all. It's World 4. <laughs> well, color me blue and... I don't even know. This level is annoying. I hate this level. God. Ugh. Wait, unless I hate the level after this. I forget. I think it's the one after this. It's... That's actually more of a problem. But World 4 is the worst world because it's the Ice World. And that... Yeah. Ice World's never a good thing. Never. Never, ever. Except for the rocket ships that they also contain. To the moon! 
or at least to an elevated level. This is the part where there are shy guys on cannons that are annoying and frustrating to deal with. Yes. As a result, I will scroll their fireball along the screen with me, causing it to be an extra obstacle and get me killed. Though it was really more the fuzzy dude that did that. So I'm gonna blame the fuzzy dude, or whatever they're supposed to be. They're like mini yetis without arms. You know, actually, aren't those Kirby enemies? Aren't there enemies in Kirby that look exactly like that? Like, at least in Dreamland 3. I knew there was a connection between the Dreamlands. Wart should appear in a Kirby game. This is my official mandate to Nintendo, which will not be listened to. Also, Hell Laboratories, which will also not be listened to. I have received points of some number. Alas! Wait, did that say bonus chance? Did they, like, cut off half the O? Whatever, this is the annoying level. You'll see why shortly. Look at all those freaking things. They're everywhere. Better be precision dodger! <laughs> or at least go slowly. Would probably be a better option. Just gonna throw that out there. Hey, I was totally short enough to get under you. World 4-2. Also known as World 4 2. Skid, 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 skid. Good thing this game has no time limit. Ho 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 ha ha ha. Whoa. What? Ah, uh, I was about to say that the problem had been solved. But alas, I am a fool. What? What? All right, at least we get to see the whales before I die. Check out them whales. But you, what you doing, whaleo, whale lord? Whoa! There's no indication of where the spouts come from, except for basic biology, which doesn't really apply when the whales are made of square. But hey, the world is square, so are the whales. That's what they always say. I don't know why. Maybe they're drunk or otherwise inebriated. Those bloody whale spouts will hurt you, by the way. I feel I should mention that. I think the game decided to mention that for me. But that's okay. This is like the catchiest music in any platforming game ever, by the way. Why is my computer slowing down? I get no idea, but the frame is going to hell. Do, 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 do. Okay, I forget exactly where I need to drop this potion to warp to world whatever the last world is. But, oh yeah, it's right there. Of course. What? What? That wasn't so bad at all. Why does it make a, like, nope buzzer when you drop the thing? World 6. Oh, there isn't a 7th world. My questions have been answered. Oh, man. Oh wait, there is a seventh world. This is definitely not the last one. My questions have been unanswered again. God, I hate those snakes. God, it's a pokey. He was another guy that was reused. Thankfully, Solid Snake and his bullet gun were not. Anywho. Any hoof. Ho ho ho. Uh, let's go this way. Because this is the correct way you go in almost 90% of side-scrollers. Especially when you think the screen should be scrolling. Shouldn't the screen be scrolling, you guys? And then you turn around and you actually have to go left instead of right. So, disregard what I just said. Because in the past, I have done dumb things. I wonder if those contain any... Uh, the Panzer! And that's the end of our journey for today.